I don't think they expected that the revolution would have had that kind of massive victory. And once it happened, the fear was, if we recognize, this was Thomas Jefferson who was in office at the time, if we recognize Haiti as a free republic, then what are we gonna do about all the enslaved Africans in North America? So we have to reject it and now go into an economic boycott of it, similar to what they did to Cuba in modern times. That's their stuff, right? They have this either or. Either I'm gonna be it, I can't be it if you're it. See, African thought says everybody can be it. But the European mindset is that I can only be it if you are not it. What happened to Haiti, though, was the tax that the French put on it, the reparation tax. So that's sort of like, so okay, we'll give you independence, but now this is gonna cost you, right? So we'll give it to you, but we'll pull your economic freedom from you. And there were all kinds of economic uh, exploitations that have been put onto Haiti since the uh, pigs from America were put into Haiti to overtake their Haitian uh, pig farming. Foreign grain was imported into Haiti. Sweatshops have been set up. I mean, there are reams and reams of books for people who are bothered that can go out and read on why Haiti is in the condition that it's in today. And, and it's largely due partly to a local parasitic uh, greedy elite, but mostly due to foreign exploitation. Without that foreign exploitation, the elite would not be in the position to be able to do the things that they have been and currently are still doing in Haiti. So this also put a big fear in America's heart that Haiti had